salam everyone and welcome back to another Dilla Star Kid video. And in this video, I shall be introducing you to a computer programming language, also known as Python. Python is an open source free programming language that is used in web programming, software engineering, artificial intelligence, data science, and many other scientific applications. It is also a high-level, interpreted, general-purpose programming language. It is dynamically typed and garbage collected. The developer of Python, the developers of Python, were the Python Software Foundation. Python was founded 31 years ago on 20 February 1991. So. I want to know how did you guys start Python? Did you guys just just found it and found it interesting? Or like, you know, you wanna do anything? Well, I would like to know any reason, any reason, how did you guys manage to start Python? Did I start it? Well, that, that would be nice, wouldn't it would be? You guys can tell me that in the comments. Now I will tell you about how I started Python. So, you know those, all those games, you know, the popular games Among Us and other kinds of games, you, you can name a lot, I believe, you can name a lot. So, you know those games are made, you, you're just too much in the fun, but have you realized how were they ever made? I went through Google, Google and realized most of those games, most of those popular games that you know right now are made of of one programming language and that's Python that we're talking about right here. Why? Why why should we learn Python? You guys might be asking why why should you learn Python? I want to make my own game. But why why should I use Python? Why can't I just use C plus plus or Spider like the other computer computer programming languages? That's because Python is the easiest and the quickest to learn programming language so far. So, I, I would try and uh, recommend you a book that can make your knowledge in Python way better. And that book is called Python Crash Course, written by Eric Mathis. This excellent book can give you the throughout introduction of Python and give you so many good tips on what to write, writing programs and other types of app development or what not and this can make you write programs and even do app developments in like no time I promise you in no time this book is amazing you guys should definitely buy it so I myself attended a crash course myself a few months ago to learn Python you guys can also do that or else you can get the book the book is way amazing it's way better and makes you understand way easier so, you know Python. Python can be installed, right? The first step is obviously installing them. So, where can Python be installed? It can be installed on Apple products like, you know, uh, iPad, iPhone, MacBook. And then again, you know, the usual computers, computers, uh, laptops. Mostly on Windows. So, I'm, I'm going to show you how to install Python on both of the of those devices so let's start off with computers and laptops let's go okay guys so we're now on the laptop so now I'm gonna show you how to download Python okay so there are two ways to download Python one is completely direct while the other one is indirect the direct way is to just go straight to Microsoft Store right here let's open this up okay wait for a few seconds okay now we're gonna have to go here and press this search term Python and look at this this shows every version of Python 3.7 3.8 3.9 3.10 3. even 3.11 which I don't believe is out yet on the indirect spot there's more okay so this is the direct way to just 
get it. I mean, you can just just press this like this random one, and just go down and uh, yeah, get. You just get it right here. But I'm gonna save this to show you how to do it indirectly, which is the better way. So let's get out of Microsoft Store, and now we're gonna have to go. You can use any web browser for this step. You can, you can use any web browser like, I don't know, Bing, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, but I'm going to use Google Chrome. I'm going to use Google Chrome. Okay, now let's open. Okay, so now you have to type this link in. Okay, let's go. www. hyphen dot o r g slash downloads and then slash again and enter this will lead you straight to the official python website and uh, yeah this is it this will lead you to the official python website and here's the big yellow button download python 3.10.7 and the cool thing about this, it actually knows what device you're downloading it on. Like for example, I'm on a Windows laptop right now, and it's saying Win Windows. Download the latest version for Windows. And it's also the latest version, so that's a good thing. Alright, so now we just gonna have to press download Python 3.10.7, the latest version of Python. And let's go. Now, there's a file that's currently... Uh, Da getting downloaded, you can see it right here where my cursor is. And uh, okay, let's wait, it's almost done. Okay, and boom, okay, now the file is done. Now let's open the file. Okay, so uh, wait, wait, what happened? Wait, okay, load, okay. So this is what this is what it shows. You can see this is what it shows. It shows install Python 3.10.764 bit. In so you have two options. Either customize install installation to choose the location and features of the installation or, inst or install now, which includes idle, pip, and documentation, create shortcuts, and file associations. But first of all, check down here these two checkboxes. You see this install launcher for all users, which is recommended. They already pressed it. Add Python 3.10 to the path. So check marking this will help you get Python straight up here. Like where your start button is, you can just type you can just search it up and you'll get it. Okay? So uh, wait, okay. So now that we have check marked this, we're gonna go to install now not customize installation we're gonna go on install now and yes okay now let's just wait for it to download okay guys so i just completed the download and look at this setup was successful so we have officially downloaded python okay now let's get out of here real quick okay so now go to your uh you can just say the start button press it and then type in this. Just type in I D L E. And this will show up. Idle. Idle Python 3.10 64-bit. Idle, this is a kind of what you would say like it's like a debugging tool for your Python code and whatnot. This comes with the installation. So now let's just click idle. And this will open up. Wait for it, wait for it. This opens up the official Python program, programming website. All right, so this would say this, so uh, let's just go control N for a new file and uh, close this one and then open up this one. Okay, so now you see you have officially installed Python, yes? That's congratulations straight to you. But now that we have all, now that we have just downloaded it, how about a little coding? How about you just do your first line of code? How about that? So uh, let's get started right now with the coding. All right. So I want you to type in this for your first line of code: p 
R I N T, print, then bracket, then uh, these apostrophes, and then go, I guess you can just go caps, and you can just type in like, like for example, hello, my name is, you can just type in your name. You can just type in your name, like for example, my name is Abdullah, so let's just type in my name, Abdullah. Now let's end it with an apostrophe and a bracket, okay? Now just press run. See this button? Run. So for this, for this shortcut, you can just press F5. To run the module, you need to first save it. So let me just save it. There we go, and let's just save it. And look at this. You wrote your first line of code. You see this? It just printed what we wrote in the brackets. We, we wrote, hello, my name is your name. You wrote it, and now look at this. It sa I said print, hello, my name is Abdullah. And it printed the exact same thing like I wanted it to. See this? So congratulations, you wrote your first line of code. Okay, guys, well, that's the end of the video. Please... Make sure to like the video, subscribe the channel, and turn on that notifications bell for more videos from my channel. And so, adios, amigos. See you later.